Hey guys, welcome back to a Features Analytica video. I'm Zach. We're going to be looking over the NQ chart setup. Um, I'm in playback right now um, just to show you guys what it would look like on a bare bones chart. Like if you're first account with Ninja Trader, that's what I want to do in this video. So make sure we're on a range chart, 32 as the value. Ticks, um, tick replay needs to be enabled. Uh, days of load should be three and let's keep moving on. So this is what the chart should look like, just the bare bones um, data. And so now we're going to dive into the indicator setup here. So under the available indicators, after you've imported and everything, make sure that you configure your analytic chart for plus or four, um, depending on what you own. And then note here that the display full contract order flow should only be used when using micro contracts. And this will make trading micros a lot easier to actually utilize as it will provide you with the full contract order flow um, and thus result in high quality trades even though you're risking less using your micro contract on the other side of things. So now we're just going to be going through all these settings. Everything above footprint volume profile can be left as a default or changed to your liking. And then footprint volume profile should be shown if you have access to that through the 4 plus. POC, all that can be left the same. But down here, you want 125 for the high side minimum volume, horizontal as the mode for calculation, and multiplier for the ratio calculation method. Um, down here in balances, we want three. Uh, imbalances stacked also should be three. Um, and then moving down, we want our ratio to 1.5. Um, and you can leave the, the uh, depth and adverse tolerance to their default settings, five and three. And then continuing down here, ticks per level is going to be the most important and confusing um, setting that we have, which needs to be set to four in order for this to properly um, take effect in your chart. Um, and then down here in derived areas, you want to make sure that's checked. Imbalances number should be two, and that'll account for the ticks per level that we're we're setting it above um, and then setting minimum filter to 300 is going to be key here and then maximum filter um, excuse my error here uh, should be set to you know a value you know under a million whatever whatever that may be you know it doesn't really matter just a high high uh, value is fine um, and then down here you can choose to show unfinished auctions if you'd like to auto scroll if you'd like to um, both of which are options that just kind of help with functionality, but right bar margin should be set to 50 and pullback bar margin. If you're using it should be 10. That's I'll just use that as a rule of thumb that you guys can refer back to. Um, and then scrolling down here, everything should be able to be fine. Most of this is auto filled from the beginning. Uh, make sure that your calculates on each tick and, um, you should be good to go with this. So let's save it as a template so that we have it to refer back to after we log back into Ninja Trader tomorrow or whenever in the future. I'm going to set it to FA indicator as an example, save it, apply it. And now you can see it taking effect on our chart here. So now we're going to hop over to polarity. Um, and take a peek at that. So now we're just gonna make sure that we open up our polarity, configure it, and um, this is gonna, I'm just gonna redo it here for you guys so that we have this. 125 should be our volume, three should be our ratio, adversary detection can be left to five, um, horizontal calculation method is important, make sure your ATM strategy matches. Down to imbalance calculation method, it should be ratio to match your indicator as well. Count multi-tech levels, you'll notice I set to four, which is important as well. You can leave all of this, make sure your account is the correct account, on bar close is the correct calculation method, and then after all of this, you can enable, apply, and hit OK. And now we are fully set up and configured, ready to trade NQ. Let me know if you guys have any questions um, in the comment section below, and I'd be more than happy to help you guys out.